This is Adja Studio and Gallery in Liverpool, Nova Scotia. At Adja, we, we make our own jewelry on site. There's two working jewelers, as well as a few jewelers that make work that send to us. I'm a custom jeweler, and uh, basically I can make whatever you want. My specialty is makamegane, which is a Japanese technique of uh, layering different colored metals together to form um, a wood grain pattern. I'm from Liverpool, I grew up here, and then um, went to university in Halifax, lived there for 10 years. I'd worked at the Museum of Natural History, and so it really got me thinking, I, I want to be in the real thing. I don't want to be in a museum anymore. I want to live in that. And I want to do my own thing and do it my way and be able to be flexible in my own setting. And Liverpool um, is a pretty flexible town. You know, you can own your own business and do your own thing and um, have kids and make it work and make it work for you. The people here are very friendly and very accommodating. Um, you know, if you move to town and you want to do something, the town, they're excited for, for positive change. <laughs> Growing up in Liverpool, um, I was always very aware that there was quite a thriving art scene. And so I thought that it would be a, a great place to, to move down and, and open up an art gallery that would specialize in bringing artists together. With the community that is here, it's, it's so refreshing that theater people can interact with music people, that can interact with visual arts, who can interact with crafts people. Here, everybody comes together and it's a community and we really do help each other out. And it's really nice to see that constant flowing of, of, of interaction and exchange. If you were a, a new emerging artist or artisan and you were coming to, to Liverpool, um, you know, you'd be walking into a, a really well-developed and open arts community. Who wouldn't want to come here? <laughs> <laughs>